and he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan. Even the Lord that hath chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? The high-level disciples of Satan in the beast system's religious institutions always proclaim when Satan deceived Adam and Eve in the garden, that is when sin entered the world. Is that really true? The Most High said to Adam, if you eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you will surely die. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but... Of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. The scripture did not say sin entered the world when Adam and Eve fell. The scripture said if they ate of the tree, they would die. Adam and Eve indeed died. They suffered a spiritual death when they disobeyed the Most High and transgressed the laws of paradise. Satan and his angels was here before Adam was created. Sin was already here on earth. The scripture says Satan had been sinning from the beginning. He that committeth sin is of the devil, but the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Satan now, as known to us as Satan, fell on the second day of creation. The scripture says Satan misled more than half of the angels to follow him. The Most High created the angels on the second day of creation. It was on the second day of creation Satan fell. Satan has been sinning from the beginning. The Most High cast Satan from the heavens to the earth. Because Satan and his angels were cast down to earth, that is how sin entered the world. And a great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Adam and Eve did not know what sin was until after the fall. Everyone must decide if they're going to transgress the laws of the Most High. Just because Satan or the workers of iniquity in the beast culture tempts you to transgress the laws of the Most High, it doesn't mean you have to follow the workers of iniquity. You have to choose to obey the workers of iniquity. Israelites, you can live in this world and not participate in the iniquity of the beast culture. Life is about the choices you make. Too many indigenous black people in this generation are looking to blame others for their wicked ways. You are responsible for your own actions, regardless of Adam and Eve being the first of our species to sin. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Because Adam is the first man and Eve the first woman, they are going to be the first to do a lot of things. It doesn't mean we have to transgress the laws of the Most High because they did it. Adam and Eve said to their children before they transitioned to obey the Most High and follow his statutes, commandments, and laws. It's up to Adam's descendants to obey the Most High. Whatever choices the descendants of Adam do after the instructions he gave to his people is solely up to them. Then our father Adam blessed them all and said to Seth after he had blessed them, O Seth, my son, thou knowest this world, that it is full of sorrow and of weariness, and thou knowest all that has come upon us from our trials in it. I therefore now command thee in these words, to keep innocency, to be pure and just, and trusting in God, and lean not to the discourse of Satan, nor to the operations in which he will show himself to thee. 
but keep the commandments that I give thee this day. Then give the same to thy son Enos, and let Enos give it to his son Canaan, and Canaan to his son Mahalalel, so that this commandment abide firm among all your children. Sin was already here. Adam and Eve did not bring sin into the world. Satan and his angels did when they rebelled against the Most High and was cast down to earth. When Adam and Eve were deceived in paradise, death entered Adam and Eve's lineage. Because of Adam and Eve's transgression, death has entered our lives. They are responsible for bringing death into our lives. Prior to the fall, death did not have authority over Adam and Eve. In addition to death entering our lives, the dominion given to Adam and Eve over the earth was lost. The earth is now in the hands of the wicked. The wicked control the earth with the Satans. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? The Most High created the world for Adam and his seed. Adam and his seed are the visible image of the invisible creator. That is why the scripture said the Most High made Adam in his image and likeness. The purpose of Adam was to be everything the Most High is, but in the visible form. The scriptures reveal that the Most High is invisible. From the invisible, he made all things visible, himself being invisible. Adam was to rule the lower creation under the Most High, while the Most High ruled in the heavens with the children of the heavens, the angels. Instead of angels, the Most High gave Adam the opportunity to have children to fill the earth. Adam's children would do what the angels do in the heavens. The children of Adam would upkeep the earth, just as the children of the heavens, the angels, upkeep the heavenly places. The Most High gave Adam and Eve the ability to do what he does in the heavens, but on a smaller scale for the lower creation. Overall, the Most High is the sole ruler of all of his creation. The Lord with his hands, having created man in the likeness of his own face, the Lord made him small and great. For I created all forces, and there is none that resisteth me, or that does not subject himself to me. For all subject themselves to my monarchy, and labor for my sole rule. When Adam and Eve sinned in the garden, that is when they lost the dominion given to them by the Most High. Sin entered the world when Satan fell from heaven and the watchers who follow Satan introduced mankind to all sorts of mysteries and secrets. Many people do not know the magnitude to the abominations the watchers taught mankind. It is through the abominations learned from the watchers, mankind is destroying themselves. The scripture said it was Azazel, a member of the Satans, that all sin is ascribed. And the whole earth has been corrupted through the works that were taught by Azazel. To him ascribe all sin. I'm not sure how Adam and Eve are to blame for Azazel and the fallen angels that corrupt humanity. Adam and Eve was set up by the synagogue of Satan to be the cause for all the criticism and anger mankind have towards the hardship they are enduring in this world. While the fallen angels escape with no fault assigned to them. Just like today, the indigenous black people are made to be the face to every pandemic and the cause for the spread, while the people who are responsible for the pandemic are protected. Do you notice the pattern? Wake up, indigenous black people. The Messiah has the key to Sheol and death. The Most High is reconciling his creation back to him. The righteous will inherit eternity with the Most High in paradise, while the wicked inherit eternity in torment. I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. Before we get into what the book of Enoch referred to as the group of Satans that corrupt the world, Israelites, it is important that you understand no other species of men live on earth before Adam. Nowhere in the scriptures nor in the Apocrypha said there were other people on earth before Adam. Enoch, before he was taken, said to his people that the workers of iniquity would alter his writings. Also, Enoch said Adam was the first of our kind. But the male is named Behemoth 
who occupied with his breast a waste wilderness named Duodane on the east of the garden where the elect and righteous dwelt, where my grandfather was taken up, the seventh from Adam, the first man whom the Lord of spirits created. And now I know this mystery, that sinners will alter and pervert the words of righteousness in many ways, and will speak wicked words and lie, and practice great deceits, and write books concerning their words. But when they write down truthfully all my words in their languages, and do not change or minish aught from my words, but write them all down truthfully, all that I first testified concerning them, then... I know another mystery, that books will be given to the righteous and the wise to become a cause of joy and uprightness and much wisdom. Our generation shouldn't be surprised by the alterations that have been made to the scriptures. The alterations were made to give the seed of the fallen an identity among the children of men, the indigenous black people. Today, the indigenous black people are having a tough time identifying the hybrids among them. They automatically believe the other species of mankind are human like them. The synagogue of Satan is desperately trying to give the other species of mankind an identity that is above the original man and woman. In addition, they don't want you to connect them with the fallen angels. They create all of these mythologies to confuse you. The Most High is not the author of confusion. But God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. When the Most High created Adam, he also gave Adam a purpose as well as what he required of him. The Most High brought all the animals to Adam to name and to rule over. The Most High said to Adam to take care of the earth by ruling over the animals in the sea, in the air, and on land. The Most High also said to Adam to fill the earth. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air, and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. If there were other groups of people living on earth prior to Adam, what was their purpose? The Most High did not create the earth to place man on the earth to roam the earth like savages with no purpose. Why would the Most High place these strange group of men on earth just to let them die with no legacy? It would be a waste of time to create the other so-called other group of people before Adam and not preserve them. When the Most High destroyed the earth with the flood, he made plans to preserve his creation by instructing Noah to build an ark. The Most High helped Noah select all the animals and the quantity of each species of animals to allow on the ark to repopulate the earth after the flood. The Most High did not need thousands of people to repopulate the earth. The Most High preserved Noah and his family to repopulate the earth after the flood. And the Lord said unto Noah, Come down all thy house into the ark, for thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. Of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens, the male and his female, and of beasts that are not clean by two, the male and his female, of fowls also of the air by sevens, the male and the female, to keep seed alive upon the face of all the earth. For yet seven days, and I will cause it to reign upon the earth forty days and forty nights. And every living substance that I have made will I destroy from off the face of the earth. And Noah did according unto all that the Lord commanded him. And God blessed Noah and his sons, and said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth. The Most High did not let his creation die out in the flood. He made plans to preserve his creation. For some reason, the other groups of men that was here before Adam, according to the wise men of the beast system, are extinct. If the Most High allowed them to die, this conclude they are not of the Most High. Israelites, Adam is the first of our species. Noah and his family, the Most High preserved to repopulate the earth, are indigenous black people. The other species of mankind among us come from the fallen watchers. They are a remnant of the seed of the fallen. There were giants in the earth in those days and also after that.
when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old men of renown. The reason the Most High sent the flood was to destroy the abominations the watchers taught their sons, as well as the hybrid creation that came from the watchers and the daughters of men. The Most High did not want the hybrid creation to multiply or dwell on earth. The Most High created Adam and his seed to live on the earth. The synagogue of Satan wants you to believe the Nephilims don't exist, despite the scriptures giving us an account of their existence after the flood. If the seed of the fallen don't exist, then David would have never encountered Goliath several generations after the flood. As he talked with them, behold, there came up the champion, the Philistine of Gath, Goliath by name, out of the armies of the Philistines, and spake according to the same words, and David heard them. The seed of the fallen so happened to mysteriously disappear in our generation. However, they exist in every other generation. Before the Israelites was to occupy the promised land, the spies that were sent by Moses to observe the land would have never seen the Anakims, which the scripture said are descendants of the giants on the promised land, many generations after the flood. These are the names of the men which Moses sent to spy out the land. And Moses called Oshea, the son of Nun, Jehoshua. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land, and the cities are walled and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. The Book of Jubilees and the Bible revealed that the Nephilims had children. The giants procreated within and with the children of men. The Book of Jubilees revealed the multiple species of the seed of the fallen. The scripture said the giants slew the Naphil, the Naphil slew the Eljo, the Eljo slew the children of men, the indigenous black people. The Nephilims are what we know today as the Neanderthals. The Eljos are the children of the Nephilims. The Denisovans are also a part of the seed of the fallen. The Denisovans and the Neanderthals are the same. The hybrids among us with Denisovan genes are predominantly the aboriginal people of the world. They have strange melanin with Neanderthal features. Eurasia is the origin to the Denisovans and Neanderthals. Black people are the only homo sapiens, the only pure humans that come from Adam. And they begot sons, the Naphidim, and they were all unlike, and they devour one another. And the giants slew the Naphil, and the Naphil slew the Eljo, and the Eljo mankind, and one man another. And every one sold himself to work iniquity, and to shed much blood, and the earth was filled with iniquity. All the so-called race of people that exist today, excluding the indigenous black people, share specific DNA. All of the other species of mankind have some form of Neanderthal or Denisovan DNA. Some people from the other species of mankind is revealing this truth. The seed of Adam, the indigenous black people, refuse to believe. The Most High said the Nephilims can only live 500 years. They were to be buried in the earth because they are part flesh and part spirit. The book of Enoch went on to say evil spirits came out of the bodies of the Nephilims. These evil spirits are the unclean spirits that are tormenting us today. And now the giants who are produced from the spirits and flesh shall be called evil spirits upon the earth and on the earth shall be their dwelling. And the spirits of the giants afflict, oppress, destroy, attack, do battle and work destruction on earth and cause trouble. They take no food, but nevertheless hunger and thirst and cause offenses. And these spirits shall rise up against the children of men and against the women, because they have proceeded from them. And no request that they, their fathers, make of thee shall be granted unto their fathers on their behalf. For they hope to live an eternal life, and that each one of them will live five hundred years. The Most High allow a tenth part of the spirit of the Nephilims to roam the earth under the command of the fallen angel, Mastimus. 
the watchers are describing the second book of Enoch as to having human-like appearance, but they were greater than great giants. It's of no surprise that when the watchers were created with the daughters of men, giants was born to them. The word Grigory used in the scriptures is the Greek version to say watcher. The watchers are described as to being the children of the heavens. The watcher's role was to watch over the children of men. And the chief of the spirits, Mastema, came and said, Lord, creator, let some of them remain before me and let them hearken to my voice and do all that I shall say unto them. For if some of them are not left to me, I shall not be able to execute the power of my will on the sons of men. For these are for corruption and leading astray before my judgment. For great is the wickedness of the sons of men. And he said, Let the tenth part of them remain before him, and let nine parts descend into the place of condemnation. The men took me on to the fifth heaven and placed me, and there I saw many and countless soldiers, called Grigories, of human appearance, and their size was greater than that of great giants, and their faces withered, and the silence of their mouths perpetual, and there was no service on the fifth heaven. And I said to the men who were with me, Wherefore are these very withered, and their faces melancholy, and their mouths silent, and wherefore is there no service on this heaven? The Bible has revealed the origin to the other species of mankind. It's the indigenous black people that is having a hard time accepting this to be true. The children of the fallen watchers are the only other group of mankind that walk the earth. Now that we know the origin to the other species of mankind, let's talk about the Satans the book of Enoch has revealed. Israelites, the word Satan means adversary. An adversary is an enemy. The children of men have many adversaries. Anyone who is an enemy to the people of the Most High is a Satan. Satan can also be a title. For example, Lord and God are titles. Lucifer, as known as Satan in the scriptures, is not the only Satan. And a command has gone forth from the presence of the Lord concerning those who dwell on the earth that their ruin is accomplished because they have learned all the secrets of the angels and all the violence of the Satans and all their powers, the most secret ones, and all the power of those who practice sorcery, and the power of witchcraft, and the power of those who make molten images for the whole earth. The Satans are the fallen angels, and Lucifer, or Satanel, is the head leader of them all. The watchers that fell were led by other fallen angels. The book of Enoch said Semjaza led in the oath the watchers took when they descend on Mount Hermon. The book of Enoch revealed it was 200 of them that led in the rebellion. And Semjaza, who was their leader, said unto them, I fear ye will not indeed agree to this deed, and I alone shall have to pay the penalty of a great sin. And they all answered him and said, Let us all swear an oath. And all bind ourselves by mutual imprecations not to abandon this plan, but to do this thing. Then swear they all together and bound themselves by mutual imprecations upon it. And they were in all two hundred who descend in the days of Jared on the summit of Mount Hermon. And they call it Mount Hermon because they had sworn and bound themselves by mutual imprecations upon it. Because the watchers had an appearance like human, they blend easily with the children of men. The watchers were bigger than the average men. It made sense that the children that came from them are described to be men of renown and great warriors. The book of Enoch revealed that the chief angels, the Satans, that led the watchers to procreate with the daughters of men were chief over hundreds and thousands of angels. And these are the chiefs of their angels and their names, and their chief ones over hundreds and over fifties and over tens. The second book of Enoch said, The watchers who sin with the daughters of men are held in darkness in the second heaven in torment. The fifth heaven is where the leaders of the watchers are held in prison as well. A lot of watchers left the heavens to take the daughters of men for wives. It is through the mixing of the sons of God and human women brought forth all the subspecies of mankind on earth today. 
The scripture said that Satan, Jikon, was the watcher that led the sons of God to earth. The name of the first, Jikon, that is, the one who led astray all the sons of God and brought them down to the earth and led them astray through the daughters of men. Today, both the indigenous black men and women continue to crossbreed with the seed of the fallen. They have yet to learn their lesson in procreating with the serpent seed. The Satan, Asbiel, is the watcher that led the other watchers astray to defile themselves with the daughters of men. And the second was named Asbiel. He imparted to the holy sons of God evil counsel and led them astray so that they defiled their bodies with the daughters of men. The book of Enoch revealed that it was the Satan, Gadriel, a cherubim, who led astray Eve in the garden. Gadriel was the cherubim that was protecting the garden before his fall. It made sense now when the scripture said in the book of Ezekiel that Satan was in the garden of Eden and over the holy mountain. Gadriel is the cherub that was protecting the garden. Gadriel is the fallen angel that had access to Adam and Eve in the garden. He is the Satan that caused Adam and Eve to fall. And the third was named Gadriel. He it is who showed the children of men all the blows of death. And he led astray Eve and showed the weapons of death to the sons of men, the shield and the coat of mail and the sword for battle and all the weapons of death to the children of men. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so. Thou wast upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Israelites, when the scriptures reference Satan, we cannot assume the verse is talking about Lucifer or Satanel. There are many Satans, and they are all fallen angels. As you have heard in the scriptures, the Satan, Gadriel, who deceived Eve, also taught mankind about death and how to kill. The Watchers taught mankind all sorts of abominations. Their children continue to lead in the abominations against the Most High today. The Book of Jubilees described the behavior of the Nephthalims, Nehendathals. The scripture said they devour one another and mankind. Their behavior remains the same until today. The other species of mankind who have Nehendathal DNA among us behave just like them. They are still savages and destroying the earth. And they begot sons, the Naphidim, and they were all unlike. And they devoured one another, and the giants slew the Naphil, and the Naphil slew the Eljo, and the Eljo mankind, and one man another. The teachings from the Watchers continue to influence the world. The Book of Jubilee revealed that Noah's grandson, Canaam, found the ancient writings of the Satans written on the wall. He translated the scriptures and kept it. He called his name Canaam. And the son grew, and his father taught him writing, and he went to seek for himself a place where he might seize for himself a city. And he found a writing which former generations had carved on the rock, and he read what was thereon, and he transcribed it in sin owing to it. For it contained the teachings of the watchers in accordance with which they used to observe the omens of the sun and moon and stars and all the signs of heaven. And he wrote it down and said nothing regarding it, for he was afraid to speak to Noah about it, lest he should be angry with him on account of it. This is why the workers of iniquity are examining the walls that have ancient writings on them to decode the secrets in the writings. I am sure the ancient writings Canaan found are still being used in this generation. The teachings of the fallen watchers continue to influence the beast system in every era. The seed of the fallen continue to manifest in every generation. The Satan, Azazel, said to taught mankind weapons of war, the different metals of the earth, and much more. And Azazel taught man to make swords and knives and shields and breastplates and made known to them the metals of the earth and the art of working them and bracelets and ornaments, and the use of autonomy, and the beautifying of the eyelids, and all kinds of costly stones, and all coloring tinctures. Thou seest what Azazel has done, 
who has taught all unrighteousness on earth and revealed the eternal secrets which were preserved in heaven, which men were striving to learn. The Satan Azazel's teachings has corrupt mankind that the Most High assigned all sins to Azazel. The superpower nations of today have nuclear weapons that can destroy the world. The scripture said in the last days there will be wars and rumors of wars. Nations shall rise against other nations. We are seeing this come to pass. All the advanced weaponry the sons of the fallen angels learn from the Satan Azazel. The Most High said to Azazel when he seek forgiveness that he shall have no peace. His sins are not forgiven. The Satans have nothing to lose. That is why they are corrupting the world. Their fate has been sealed. And Enoch went and said, Azazel, thou shalt have no peace. A severe sentence has gone forth against thee to put thee in bounds. And thou shalt not have a toleration nor request granted to thee. Because of the unrighteousness which I has taught and because of all the works of godlessness and unrighteousness and sin which thou hast shown to men, then I went and spoke to them all together, and they were all afraid, and fear and trembling seized them. And therefore God judged them with great judgment, and they weep for their brethren, and they will be punished on the Lord's great day. Israelites, the abominations of the watchers is worse than we can imagine. The Satans that rule this world with their modern day sons continue the abominations of the past. The rebellious angels has truly corrupt our world. As we put a name and face to the mysteries and secrets, everything is coming together. Just as when the real Israelites were identified, the scriptures began to make sense. Everything that is done in darkness shall come to light. Stay tuned for part two of the Fallen Watchers. But ye beloved, building up yourselves on your own most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life, and of some have compassion, making a difference, and others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, aiding even the garments spotted by the flesh. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen.